Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to use ArcGIS Pro and we are going to assign <coughs> elevation data to a point feature class. Okay, so what I have is I have a local digital elevation model that I'll explain here in a second. But I also have a feature class called Spot. And all I did was digitize points that I'm interested in pulling the elevation data and assigning it to a field in that attribute table. Okay, pretty simple. All right. There are two methods of doing this. The first is I'm going to show you is if you don't have your own customized digital elevation model, you can go out to ArcGIS and ArcGIS online and have it extract that information for you. Okay, so that's going to be the first method. The second method, we're going to use a another tool in Arc Pro. It's also in Arc Map, but we're going to use Arc Pro. And we are going to extract data off of a proprietary digital elevation model that I've created. Or maybe you have created in your own survey shop using LiDAR data and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So I'm going to use the first method to create a new uh, elevation uh, feature class. Then I'm going to use that same elevation, elevation feature class to bounce it off of my digital elevation model and show you the differences. Okay, so let's get going. So here I have a point feature class called spot and I'm going to extract elevation data off of ArcGIS online. So you come up here to the analysis ribbon and you choose the ready to use tools and you'll see elevation right at the top and you're going to choose summarize elevation and you'll get over here on the right side you'll get a fill in the form and you are going to your input features are going to be those uh, your spot feature class and you need an item right here that has a an ID number so we're going to choose object ID from our shape file, matter of fact, not our shape file, from our feature class. I'm going to right click on the spot, open up the attribute table so you can see what we're starting with. So here's my feature, feature class. Object ID and shape are automatically created. And then I added a field called elevation, but they're not populated. I'm using this object ID for each one of these points. And that's what I'm typing in over here for feature ID. ID field okay so we do object ID in this case and now in terms of digital elevation resolution you have a few choices if you want to find all 90 meter resolution then you would choose that 30 meter 24 meter 10 meter all right if you choose 10 you may get nothing back because that point in space may not have data that is that tight. Okay. If you choose 24, you get 24 if it exists. All right. What I like to do is I choose finest and it will choose, it will populate my elevation with any one of these that it finds. Okay. So if you use one of these presets, it may not find any data for that particular point. But if you choose finest, it will get populated regardless of what resolution it finds. Okay, so that's what I'm going to choose here. You can choose to have it get the slope and the aspect if you wanted to. In my case, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to leave this unchecked. So I'm going to click run. And right now it's going out to ArcGIS online and it's finding sources of uh, elevation data. 
And what it's going to do, it's going to create a temporary output summary. Uh, it's not really a feature class, but it will look like a feature class. But it's going to create a temporary file. And that's what it's doing right now. So it's populating. I have 135 elevation points that it's looking for. And it has finished. And it's created this output summary. Okay, so I'm going to change the symbol to that output summary. I'm going to change it to um, another triangle, but I'm going to give it a different color. We're going to make this one, um, let's make this one yellow. Hit apply. So now I have a yellow triangle, and my original was a red triangle. We'll go ahead and turn that off. So now we have a temporary output summary file which also has shapes in it, I mean uh, geometry in it. We're going to right click and we're going to open up the attribute table. And you will notice in the attribute table it's added some fields, okay? So the first three are my original fields that I had in my spot feature class, okay? The, the one starting with ID over to the right, this gets populated by ArcGIS Online. It has some point elevation data. It gives you what source or what resolution that elevation data was from. And it also gives you the actual source of the actual three-dimensional data. Okay, so all of these are coming from Airbus Defense and Space. Okay, and they're all 24 meters, I believe. Yeah, so pretty good pretty good source okay however I don't want to use ArcGIS's uh, uh, query on finding elevation because I have better uh, elevation data than Airbus uh, Defense in Space has okay so what I'm gonna do is first I'm going to turn this temporary summary into a feature class and this is no different than arc map in doing the same thing i'm going to right click i'm going to go down to data i'm going to export feature and i'm going to and I, it automatically knows what geo database i'm working with and i just give it a uh, feature feature class name we're going to call this uh EL EV1 and I'm going to keep all of the data that it is actually populated I want it included I can get rid of fields if I didn't want them but I'm gonna keep all the fields and hit run so what it's doing now is converting this output summary from a temporary file into an actual feature class called EL EV1 okay if I right click open up the attribute table, it's going to look identical to what we had before. The three original fields plus all the ArcGIS online fields that it populated with. Okay, now if you don't have a customized digital elevation model and elevations um, that you want, this is the best way for you to do this is to go on, use ArcGIS Online, and allow it to find the best solution for you. However, if you're like me, you generate your own digital elevation models through some proprietary process that you own, such as LiDAR data and a whole mix of different um, survey data that you create your own digital elevation model and you want to get your elevation model into these points, okay? This is where the next step comes. Now, this next step is also available in ArcMap. You don't have to have ArcPro to do this. It's the exact same tool. Matter of fact, it's a Python script that's built into the software, okay? So, I have this new, I'm gonna turn off output, sort, output summary now. I have this new feature class called ELEV1, which is a feature class that we populated through ArcGIS uh, Online. I want my digital elevation model. 
So I'm going to choose, instead of ready-made tools, I'm going to choose tools. And technically it's a ready-made tool because it's in Arc Toolbox. You type in add surface. And if you stop there, it's going to find it for you. It's called add surface information. Click that tool. Your input feature is now not going to be the spot. Your input feature is going to be this new uh, elevation uh, feature class that you've created. So we're going to populate this with ELEV1. And my input surface is going to be my customized digital elevation model. In this case, I call it local DEM in my case. And I want a field called Z, so I'm going to choose this, and I'm going to accept the defaults for the rest for the method, okay, and the Z factor, all right? If I put 2 in the Z factor, all my elevations are going to get doubled, okay? So I fill out my form, and I choose Run. Now what it's doing, instead of going on GIS, ArcGIS Online, it's pinging my digital elevation model and adding those elevations to our existing feature class called ELEV1. Okay, so it's done. I didn't get any errors. I'm going to right click that and I'm going to open up the attribute table. Now you see one new field, and it put it right at the beginning called Z. Okay, here's our original fields, these next three, and then here's the ArcGIS Online fields that populated. This field right here are the elevations coming from my customized digital elevation model. Now, I don't like decimals in my elevations on my maps, so I created a field called elevation, which is a short integer. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to field calculator and I'm simply going to make elevation equal to Z and it will automatically do the rounding for me and populate that field with my elevations. Now you can compare your own digital elevation model with that of ArcGIS Online in this case, and you'll see that my elevations are a little different than what you get online. But in my case, I trust my digital elevation model more than I do uh, Airbus Defense and Space, not anything against them. It's just that I have a mixture of LiDAR data that I've used to create all of my digital elevation models. Okay, so here we got an elevation of 1133 and here's 1132 off of online. Okay, so simple way, two simple ways to, uh, to add elevation data to a point layer. Um, one using ArcGIS online, one using a local digital elevation model. Um, again, as I said before, if you don't have your own, go ahead and use this ArcGIS Online uh, method because it works great. And they're not going to be that far off either. Okay. So, hey, I hope this video helps you guys out. And if you like it, please like, if, like and share this video. Please subscribe to my Physical World YouTube channel and hit that bell for notifications. And we will see you guys on the next video. We've got a great topic that's coming up. You guys have a great day and we'll see you later.